Hey folks, it's Steve with Prima Coffee. Today we're taking a look at this guy. This is a shear plate for an EK43 grinder, uh, a Mulcana grinder. Um, this is uh, an OEM part, basically a, it's a replacement part that's pretty critical to the function of your EK43, EK43S, or EKK43, uh, whichever you might have. Um, more or less what this piece does, it's a sacrificial part that connects the drive shaft to the burr carrier or pre-breaker. Um, and it's designed to break if something goes wrong with the burrs. Um, so like if you catch a rock or something in your beans um, and that stops the burrs from turning, the drive shaft will continue to turn and torque onto this piece and then break the shear plate so nothing bad happens to the motor. So you're much better off breaking this cheap and expensive part um, than the big expensive motor inside the grinder. So uh, occasionally you do need to re uh, replace these um, especially with the way that we like to use EK43s today, where we have a lot of on-off, you know, start-stop cycles um, when we're single dosing or grinding smaller batches. The grinder wasn't originally designed for that purpose, but Mulconic has made some updates that hopefully, you know, make them a little bit better suited to how we like to use them. Um, so these uh, are newer brass uh, shear plates. Um, older ones have been made out of steel or aluminum. Um, so the newer brass ones tend to have pretty good longevity uh, especially considering those frequent starts and stops. Um, replacing one is really, really easy. If you've got a broken one, sometimes the pieces are a little bit hard to remove, but once you've dug them out, you know, let's say you just use a slotted screwdriver, you can just dig them out of the channel between the burr carrier and the drive shaft here. Replacing one, pretty simple. It's a slot. You want to make sure that the burr carrier and the drive shaft are actually aligned. A screwdriver, a slotted screwdriver can help that pretty easily just kind of make sure that that straight line is lined up in your grinder. Um, so you've got a fresh shear plate. You'll want just a little bit of food safe grease. Um, kind of pick your poison there. Uh, there's a lot of different options out uh, and available for uh, grease, you know, that you might want to use. Um, just grease both sides of the shear plate. And then we tend to recommend just getting a little bit kind of inside those channels too. Um, there's always going to be a little bit of surface grease on this front uh, part of the burr carrier that actually butts up against the kind of front cap of the grinder anyway, so it's good to have a little bit of lubrication there. Um, once we have a little bit of grease on there, all you need to do is just slide it right in. And that's it. You're installed. You are ready to go. Um, just install the front cap of your grinder again. We have a couple of screws to screw down. I do like to alternate. Uh, screwing them down when I'm uh, putting the front cap back on. Um, partly that's just so it's easier to actually screw both, uh, both sides in because if you do one side all at once, there is a spring pushing back against uh, the cap so it can kind of put it at a strange angle that makes it harder to screw down. Um, so just a couple of turns on either side. Do also make sure that it's uh, lined up properly and coming back in straight, but uh, other, other than that, very simple process. Um, so if you do have a shear plate that has broken or you want to upgrade to the newer uh, brass versions, um, do note there are actually two, uh, two models of shear plate uh, for different burr carriers. Uh, Malkundig made some updates to their EK43 burr carriers around 2018, late 2017. Um, so the black burr carrier that I have is anodized aluminum, uh, aluminum. The previous ones were made of stainless steel and they do require a different shear plate depending on which model you have. So make sure that you're getting the right one for the series of grinder that you have um, to make sure that it is the best fit. Other than that, the shear plate is very simple fix um, and probably something you want to keep on hand if you're a technician who has to work on EK43 grinders. So that's the new OEM shear plate from Malkonig for EK43s. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, we've got all kinds of product overviews, comparisons, recipes, events coverage, and more. Feel free to subscribe, like, share this video, and let us know what you think in the comments.